I don't mean every Muslim, the ones who have actually read it, the Bible, have read about the Nicene Creed, where the uh, Trinity doctrine came into being, came into uh, establishment there. This is something that we, as Muslims, understand, that it happened 300 years after Jesus. Can you imagine? They are still explaining who the God is 300 years after Jesus passed away. If Jesus was himself worshipping a God... Well, the, book, the books will come about uh, just about 60 years after, which is a lot better than okay. Islam, wouldn't it? Let no, me... No, no, let, let, years no, no, wait, wait, wait. First and foremost, when you say the books came 60 years after Jesus, oh, some, some do the Christians have any manuscripts of those books? They no, they don't. Do you endorse baby killing? Oh, is he another one? Like back in the Join the queue, mate. Today. No, if you're back in the Old Testament, all right. Mm. If God this, told you to do you something, want, you can because he was full of lying. Leave it. Leave full of lying. What was the crime of the babies? How do you know? Do you think babies are innocent or guilty? Ignore it. Babies are innocent. Right. So if God commands to kill the babies, is this an unjust work from God? What? In context. What? Hang on, hang on. Do, One second. We want to understand so something. We want to understand something. What's disingenuous? disingenuous. What? It's from your Bible. What? It's from your Bible. No, the reason why you're playing people to uh, make it look like people are stupid. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We got the cameras here. Why didn't you tell us what we lied? Go on. Tell us what we lied. What you, where you, lie. you called yeah. us disingenuous. disingenuous. Tell us the what way, we lied the way, about. The way your whole actions are, the way you build the Also, you don't like the way no. we actually we actually holding the he phone. Is that right? You don't okay. like the way he we are dressed or something? Okay. What is it you don't like? Okay, anyway, let's cut to chase and understand. <laughs> Can you justify the babies in any way, shape or form that they are guilty? Can I just no, 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 no. Right. So if God commands the killing of the babies, isn't that an unjust action? It's okay. Let him go. Let him go. That's from no problem. Hmm? He commands us to do anything. We no, no. Do, do you believe God is just? Do you believe God is just? Do you agree God is just? Do you agree God is just? Do you, do you think baby killing is just in any context? No, I just go by what the Bible actually says. No, I'm asking you a simple question. Do you I'm expect... Gonna, do, no, no, it's not about you judging, it's about you when as a human being. Would you consider killing any infant or a baby no, in any no, context? No, no, okay, no. so do you agree with what happened in the Old Testament time or do you disagree? Well, it's pretty hard going in it, the whole lot. I'm asking specifically about baby killing. Baby killing? Yes, in the Old Testament, your God commanded it. I'm not going to make judgments on God. Is no, but I'm asking judgment. you based on your Bible, because you're, you're already making judgment on us. Okay, let's put it a different way. You said we were disingenuous let's when we quoted your Bible. No, no, the, no, the way you talk about it, the way okay. you start... Okay, so which part of the way we talk... Okay. No, no, which part of the way we talk is disingenuous? So, if I... You can specify I, I want to understand something. If a book claims it's from God and says, Go and kill the babies. Yeah. Rip open, rip open the pregnant woman and dash the baby on the ground, on the rocks. If a holy book, which claims to be from God, said that, would you say that book is a hallmark of being from God? Yeah. What does it say there? Yeah. Let's read. That's a better way to put it, yeah. It's a good thing you asked for. Robert. Any book, any book which claims to be from God, if it said that, yeah, would, you, would you say... Hosea 13, 16. This one. The people of Samaria must bear their guilt because they have rebelled against their God. They will fall by the sword. Their little ones will be dashed to the ground. Their pregnant women ripped open. Hosea 13:16, New International Version of the Bible. Wait, wait. Any book which endorses, justifies, glorifies, the killing of babies, dashing the babies on the ground, ripping pregnant women open. One woman, one woman. Are you saying, are you saying, are you saying, are you saying this is okay? This is love? God said never see, did it? He says what he, that's what he's, he's stating will happen. Okay, so if anything God says, you played with words. No, 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 no. He sanctions it. No, he said that will happen. How does he know that? Did it happen? Because he knows what will happen. So does, can anything happen without God's permission? Look, mankind... <laughs> no answer. I'll, I'll, I'll no answer. He said no answer and I didn't even get to the end. 
Go on, go on, go on. Let's see Anti-tab if he'll give an answer. Watch go, this go to the end. Watch, watch this. Work out. Watch, 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 this. Work out. watch this now. How did that go work and answer. Out? I'm me. waiting for you. When he actually said, there's no answer. Because I know you, what are you going to say? You're going to just ignore it, make excuses, brush it under the carpet. You presume something, right? Let's see if my assumption was right. Go on. I'm waiting for your answer. Let's see if my assumption was right now. Go on. Go on. State it again. Oh, so you didn't listen no, to my question? No, After all the drama. Got, you bring, you put <laughs> okay. Rubbish okay. Let me re- let, let me repeat the question. Let, let, let me repeat the question. Let, let us let us set the scene. No, when when? No, no, that's your I asked a simple question. You obviously don't know. I asked you, does anything happen without God's permission? No, about God allowing it. No, don't say permission. Okay. Allowing it. So you change that again. Okay. So you said permission. And it wasn't permission that he said. It he is, allowed certain do, things. By the way, what he did, allows people, he allows Christians. No, no. What did, I mean, what did he hear? Like Christians like why they died. What right? did he hear from the passage? It says here, the people of Samaria must bear their guilt. Yeah. Who is saying that? Probably God. And, and Not really probably God. Yeah. It is God. Yeah. Okay. God, God of the Bible. No, no, no. God of the Bible. No, no, no. You don't even know your own book. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, let us finish. Then it gives you the reason why they should bear the guilt. It says, because they have rebelled against their God. Okay, against and the then, God. And then you collect the punishment of the innocent. Yes. And this is what will happen to them because of that rebellion against God. They will fall by the sword. Their little ones will be dashed to the ground. Their pregnant women ripped so, open. So what you're saying... But God has ordained a lot of people to come in to do His will to dash them in. Yes. Is that, is that yes. What you're yes. No, that's no, that's not. And who dashed them in? They, 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 he, God was happy with he that, knew, wasn't he? He knew. He knew what would happen because of what they did. Was God sorry about God hearing this? By the way, you know the Samaria. Who are the people of Samaria? They were sort of uh, people of Samaria are sort of. Um, so this was another this was another Jewish ethnic cleansing. Okay? They killed the Canaanites, they killed the Amalekites, and this is in the Bible by the way. It's not something I'm making up. I can show you many people where God commands the chosen people to annihilate the entire populations. But you never, they never did though, did they? They did, Amalekites. No, they come out afterwards. No, the Amalekites. You know what happened to the Amalekites? There's no Amalekites ever afterwards. No, no, they, God <laughs> gave no them. Amalekites now, wait a minute. Wait. Whether the Jews... You're saying there's no Amalekites ever Are you going to let me answer? Yeah. Okay. Were the Amalekites massacred by the Jewish people? There was lots, yeah, they were obviously because they were told Who sanctioned that massacre? Because of, the, because of the way their behavior was. No, no, it was for vengeance. And God their says that in the behavior. Bible. It was for it's vengeance. Their behavior because of what happened. Okay. It was what their ancestors did a few hundred years ago. Their, right. Their, and, their and, and, and look at the punishment God gives. I want to understand whether you really believe in such a God sure who punishes a generation because what their forefathers have done a few hundred years ago, and God then says, Go and kill them. Show no pity, no compassion. Yeah. Kill them. Slaughter them. Men, women, children. Men, women, children. You are saying this is something acceptable. Collective punishment of the innocent. There was a reason behind it. What was the reason? The reason behind it because they were just not, they were against God basically. So anyone is against God, kill the babies. The babies are not Where do you get this honestly? You know, for you. How can you as a. Killing babies, Come on, it's just as a horrible. human being, how can you not think this religion that you are following endorses baby killing commands? I, go and kill babies, go and kill infants. I didn't live in that time to know exactly what was going on. You don't need All right? to. But you believe in this no, book? No, you do need to no, know. You don't need to. No, that's ignorance. You do it's need to ignorant. know. It is ignorance. At any time, oh, an no, innocent you, child should not be killed. No, that At is any ignorance. Time. Sorry. Because you're seeing it with today's eyes. No, right? I'm seeing it with forever eyes. Babies, so anytime. It doesn't matter. It's innocent baby, so anytime. Yeah, I'm sorry. Now, what are you saying? Babies at that time, you, you can kill them. You're saying babies at those times, they're no, okay no, to be killed. Talk about babies I'm talking about, talking about babies. We are talking about babies. Do you know why we're talking about babies? Because the lies the whole world is hearing. Oh, babies were killed by those groups of people when it was all a lie. Instead, we see Palestinian babies being killed. We want to draw the comparison. Where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? By which way, book? Which God sanctioned killing of babies? And you believe in that book? You wanted to know the reason why they were killed. And you said it is oh, for no, what they were doing. When it comes to Palestine doing it, right? Or the Jews coming to bomb people in Palestine, right? God's not telling the Jews to kill children. No, we're talking about the Old Testament. God's where he did. No, no, but no, where he did. No, you're talking about now. 
God's not telling the Jews to go and kill children in Palestine. He never said that. Are you with the Palestinians or are you with the Israelis? No, I'm not. You know what? I'm not too sure exactly. I know. You're not sure? No. Right, no. Okay, know. let me remind you. Wait, well, let me remind you. Let me remind you. Let me remind you. Okay. okay. You wanted to know the reason no, why. You, no, you changed the topic. No, it was about First Samuel 15:3. Let's stick to that. Palestine. You, you said you wanted to know the reason why they were killed. Shall I give you from the Bible the reason why they were killed? Okay. Let me read it exactly as it says in First Samuel 15:2, the verse before that. It says, "This is what the Lord Almighty says." I will punish the Amalekites for what they did to Israel when they waylaid them as they came up from Egypt. Yeah. So the reason is given. What yeah, is the for reason? What they, for what they did to Israel. Exactly. Yeah. So that means the Amalekites, they might have killed during the Exodus, they might have killed a few Jews, and this was the vengeance after three to four hundred years afterwards. That means the children's children's children. Yeah? Now wait a minute. So it's not the people who actually waylaid them. It is not the people who, who, who murdered the Jews during the Exodus. It is the children's children's children. Wait, 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 okay. wait. And you know what? The reason is given. It's not because I've seen this from many Christians. They say, oh, these people were evil. They were uh, pagans. They were worshipping God. They were sacrificing their children. All of that is nonsense because the reason is already given for what they did to Israel. Very clear in the what Bible. What they forefathers did. Yes. And so then it goes on to say, now go and attack the Amalekites and totally destroy all that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put to that men, women, and children, and yeah. infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. Have you noticed how they separated the children and the infants in that passage? Say again, that last bit. Yeah, so I'll repeat again. Now go, attack the Amalekites, and totally destroy all that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put them to death, men and women, children and infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. Have you noticed, once again, the children and the infants? That means this is targeted killing. Your biblical God is telling the, telling this, wait, 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 your biblical God is telling this chosen people, the Hebrews, to go and kill the children and infants targeted killing. It is not like a, like, like, you know, something that happens when you drop a bomb and everybody gets massacred. This is go and find everyone. With a sword, them. decapitating their heads. Yes. Would you do that? If I was in that time, I wouldn't know. I would probably carry on the same as what if I believed God was telling me that at the time. Yeah. Then I'd be different from what I am And you go and why kill the it, babies. Why is it different today? Are the children not children today? Well, hold on a minute. God doesn't tell me to sort of target. No, but this is that. This is an allegation they are making against God. Do you really think God is so unjust that he will tell you to target little babies and infants? You know, infants are children who are less than two years old. If you ever travel by plane, you, you can buy an infant ticket if you have an infant. And they something like 10% of the fare or something. So infants do not even have the capacity to, to have a proper conversation. Yeah? They don't know what's the difference between good and bad. Now, if in any context, anyone tells you to kill them, it just shows that it's not something from the divine. It is something from the evil. I think this is, this is people, this is people. It's when a they, wake up when, call. When, yeah, when, you know when they became strong? When these Hebrews became strong after three, 400 years? That is when they wanted to take vengeance against what happened to their forefathers. Three, 400 years ago. And that is what I think is the case here. Because God, God, who is the most just, the most merciful, at least from what I know about Allah, one of the attributes, or a few of the attributes of Allah, is Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Yes, he's the most merciful, the most compassionate and loving God. He would never tell you to specifically target children. In fact, he commanded Prophet Muhammad Wasallam to tell his companions, when you go to war, this is what you have to do. Do not kill women. Do not kill children. Do not cut off the trees. Do not target the rabbis and the priests and so on. Do not destroy their synagogues and so on. Specific commands. This this war ethics. This war ethics in Islam is what you desire that you should have had in your religion, but you don't. What you expect to find is what is in Islam, the religious, the ideology of justice, the belief of justice. That is what you should be now reconsidering. That am I following the wrong religion? 
am I following the wrong ideology? Because an ideology which says to worship a man god or a god man, worship god is with three in one and so on, you know your heart and mind does not accept that. You know that's not true. You know every Christian believes that. Believe, believe what? There's one god. No. You know that. Right? They say... No, no, let, me, no, 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 no. let me clarify my statement. No, hold on. Can I clarify my statement? No, no. I will, I will no, no. Because I said it. Okay. Really? I'll clarify. Go for it, go for it. The Hindus say they believe in one God. But in practice, they have hundreds and hundreds of gods, right? They have a God of economics, the God of money, God of this, God of that. They have God the destroyer, God the creator, and so on. In theory, they might say we believe in one God. But in practice, it's different. In theory, Christians say we believe in one God because if they didn't, then they will be labeled as polytheists, limited polytheists, tri unitheists. So, in practice, this is what they believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. They believe in a God, the Father, who is God fully, 100% God. They believe in a God called Jesus Christ, the Messiah, 100% God. No less than God, fully God, complete God. They believe in a God called the Holy Spirit. Not just part God, fully God, fully divine, 100%. So there's one God there called the Holy Spirit, another God there called the Son, and the Son is not the Holy Spirit, and another God called the Father, and, and, and the Father is not the Son. So because these are all distinct gods, Christians, now they do this. They want people of critical thinking to say, one God plus one God, plus one God is one God. That is an insult to human intellect and intelligence. When you have a father who's distinct from the son, yeah. you have children, son? Yeah. How many persons are they? One person or two person? Okay, I will answer on their behalf. I will answer two person, not one person. Wait, wait, that's two person. How many human being is that? You and your son, one human being or two human beings? Two human beings, okay. You and your son shares what we call humanity. That's why you are 100% you human and your son is 100% human. You're not too human, you're, you are too human, not one human. When it comes to God, what they share between these three, they share what we call divinity, like what you share humanity. Father shares divinity, he's 100% God. So he's how many God? One God, not one third, one God. The son shares divinity. Wait, 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 wait. Son shares divinity. That makes him God. How much of God is he? One God. So how many gods do we have so far? Two. One. <laughs> That's the problem. That's the problem. The problem is about your heart knows the truth. Your mind knows the truth. But there's something else that prevents you from accepting the By truth. By the way, do you reject the Trinity or do you accept it? I don't reject the Trinity. You don't reject it. Do you understand what it means? Yeah, three in one. Three in one. Where does that? Where is that in the Bible? It just no, it, says, it states it all over there. Even when Jesus if it's all over, you should be able to sort one, right? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Because it's the two other aspects. Say again, say again. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Right. On, on the death. You spoke to the other two. How is that three in one? God? That tells you he's not God. No, that tells you he's not God. He's saying, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He's just saying that he's God. And God was walking in the garden as well. And Adam and Eve. How does it make it three? I just want to know. When he's praying, who's he praying to? When Jesus is praying, who's he praying to? He's left. No, it's going to be far too complicated to explain. No, no, we can understand. Don't worry. No, 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 because I won't be able to explain. No need to patronize us. We can understand your complexity. I'm not I'm trying to patronize you. That's one thing I've never tried to do. Well, you said it's too complex to understand. No, I see a lot. No, because you're not misunderstanding. If you can the understand it, why can't I understand yeah. it? Yeah. Because I, well, I can't explain it in the way you'd understand it. That's what the problem is. Say it like that. My problem, not your problem. That means you can't explain it to yourself. And you'll find something blind. What it means, what you're saying, right, every intelligent person, look, if you've got two people arguing, whoever's got the best argument will always end up winning. doesn't make them right. Okay, so basically you know what you're telling us... Did you know that? If you've got two people arguing, the best person doesn't but always... That's if they're arguing they can about win the facts. argument, but that's doesn't make them... No, 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 it doesn't, no. So it doesn't mean they are the person. That doesn't mean that they are the person who won the argument. No, no, that doesn't make them right if they win an argument. 
We're not arguing for the sake of winning an argument. We are establishing truth. Truth. The truth. The truth is, when you have a God, my friend, my friend, listen. When you have, when you have a God, Father and Son, you said, sister, 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 sister. No, no, it's a problem to you, yes. And it would be nice for me to have to explain it to you, yes. Okay. That's right. Can you tell us how can we be sure? Okay. Can you tell us now, sister? I just want to understand. If we want to understand real polytheism, where there are actually three gods, what should we expect the gods to be like? If we want to say that's three gods, not in Christianity, say another religion, we want to be sure that they're not one god, like you are your god, but they're actually three gods. What do we have to see and expect these gods to be like so we can be sure that they are three gods? I'm not too sure. Well, it's too no. complex for him. No, no, yeah, try. He, no, 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 no. You can laugh with that. No, one. think, 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 think. He's, he knows the question. What he's asking. Yes. Oh, so now let's deal with that question. Understand it. And I think that's what's insincere. No, no, it's that not insincere. I tell you what. I tell you what. That's what's insincere. If a, if a man, if let's a, work on it. If a grown man like you doesn't understand your God, I can expect. Every young who said person. I don't, who said I don't understand what my God Because you just. You she asked you a very simple no, 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 question. No, 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 she asked you a very no, simple no, question. No, 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 who did Jesus no, worship? No, and you said that was complex. Okay. What's that? She asked you a simple question. Whom did Jesus pray to? And you consider he that to be a complex. No, he, no, he prayed to his no, no, exactly. Yeah. But you, when she yeah, asked you, you said it's too complex. Yes. He he when she asked you, you said too complex. So okay. if you pray, so uh, pray to his God, can we, can we, because now you've understood a serious question I have asked you. It's a serious question. How do we understand that there are actually three gods in a particular religion and belief system? What do we need to see from those gods to say no, that's not your words? That wait, I wait, wait. No, You've understood my question. Your words okay. that I don't quite look, when look, you look. Do how to explain I want three gods. look, look. How can we be sure a religion has three gods when we look at their gods, the concept of God? Yeah. What do we have to see and expect these gods to be like in their character, in their being, that we can be sure that's God number one? That's God number two. That's God number three. So now help us. How can we identify three gods? In a I don't particularly want to uh, uh, no, no. Because gods. if you cannot identify three gods, that's maybe where the problem is. Because in your religion, you there are three gods clearly, but you want to make them one god. So I want to really now make some criteria. Okay, can just, actually, no, okay I'm, a, I'm a Bible believing Christian. Right? No, can we go back to this one first? No, no. How can we be sure what that three? Purpose? What purpose is a god? But, or, or you might think he's Satan or whatever. I don't know what you think he is. Mm. If this is we god, don't think God is Satan. No, no. All right. If this God isn't real, what advantage is it in misleading me from the truth? What advantage is there? Okay. The answer is this. There are always the forces of evil, your own self. They're not trying to worship the one and only true God. God is one and only. That is the fact of reality. But what happens is there's always forces to deviate you from worshiping this one true God. To make you worship in a triune God, two gods, three gods, millions of gods. You perhaps will say, but I'm actually worshiping one God, like the Hindus say. We worship one God. One God Krishna, one God Vishnu, one God Shiva. And they're all different. You as a Christian would know, my friend, you as a Christian would, would know, when the Hindus say they worship one God, God the destroyer and the God the creator is not the same God, they're two different gods. You would say, that's two gods. That's not one God, that's two gods. When you have a God the Father, putting his son Ganesh in charge in front of the door a wife to remain in the house Parvati he goes there he says make sure she doesn't do flirting around and adultery whatever right comes and finds out that the son failed to do so chops the head of his son and then started thinking oh what have I done then the first thing he sees is an elephant cuts the head of the elephant puts the elephant head on his son's head you would say as a Christian, that's not one God. That's God number one, God number two, and God number three. You would not make any difficulty in understanding in your own intellect. That's three gods. Christianity. You have one God saying, oh God, help me. Oh God, help me. Not according to my will, according to your will. I will follow your will. Why have you forgiven? Yeah. Will, now, and yet, for some reason, 
You can't see there's two gods. We're just trying to give you some I believe, questions. sister, I believe in which one person in speaking to his God, crying, weeping, praying, praying. And yet you say that's one God. This is what we expect human beings with critical thinking to say, yeah. we need to wake up. Maybe we are misled. Maybe our families, maybe our community, maybe our leaders of our church, our Gurudwara, maybe our temple, they have misled us. Misled us to worship other than the one true God. That is why it's important to ask, what did Jesus Christ himself say about the one true God and who that is? He says that they may know, this is the eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God. Do you know who Jesus was addressing? The one in heaven. Yeah. Now, according to Jesus Christ, the only true God is how many person? One person, two person or three person? That's John 17, 3, by the way. In John 17, 3... I, I haven't got a way to debate you. No, no, it's not about debating. It's oh, obvious, it's, it's obvious. Sister, sister, it's obvious. It's obvious. Jesus is speaking to his God, who he addresses as the Father. Your Father and his Father. So it's not a unique fathership. His Father and your Father. Like he said to Mary Magdalene, wait you here and go that, and tell my brethren that I'm going to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. So it's not unique sonship and fathership. So he says, the only true God is you. So when Jesus identifies someone as God, true and only with these kind of qualifiers, you know none else, no one else can be true God. So Father, according to any branch of Christianity, any denomination is one person, It's one person. So according to Jesus, the only true God is how many person? One, one. one person. According to Christians, unlike yourself, my friend, God is three persons going against clear teaching of Jesus Christ. So either you follow your church fathers or you listen to Christ. He came to tell you about who God is, that God is the one who sent him. Worship him alone. O oh, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done. Thy kingdom come. Thine is the glory forever and forever. Who is he praising? Who is he saying is the God? The one in heaven, the one who sent him. So God to Jesus Christ is one and only. Not him, not the Holy Spirit. This is the same God that we as Muslims are inviting you to. Return to the worship of the God of Jesus, the God of Moses, the God of Abraham. When you talk about logic, when you see what Islam has got to offer, it hasn't got to offer anything. Have you read the okay. Quran? Yes, I've read okay, okay. No, not read it. I've listened to Fine. it. Okay. it. Yeah. Well, okay. Where did you listen? Uh, I think I listed it on the, and it, it's one of the Islamic things, it's, it's on the tape. Okay. okay, no problem. Okay, let me tell you what Islam has to offer. Let me tell you what Islam has to offer. Islam offers you to return back, you, as the people of book, as the people who already believed in God. Islam offers you, one second, one second, your, your, your scripture. Islam offers you to return back to the worship of one true God. To the angel. Listen. Was it one can I can, I can I can I can I answer your can I answer your question? What does Islam has to offer? Islam offers a return from polytheism to absolute monotheism of worshiping one true God. That you abandon the worship of creation, the abandon of worshiping the prophets and messengers, that you abandon the worship of angels, whatever they might be, creation, and you return to the worship of one true God. Isn't there? anything or is there anything greater than this to turn my back on uh, uh, the new testament to turn your back on to the turn or the your angel. back on the books which are manipulated adulterated corrupted and what tampered purpose? by people what was it, what was it? okay what, people, people what what is the you know, purpose like you, you mentioned satan earlier so the satan can actually manipulate people can misinform people can misguide them to turn them away from the worship of the true god so you know what Mansoor was telling you so far? He was t breaking down the Trinity, which you said complex. So as a Muslim, you know, we have read the Bible. We have understood the Trinity. Well, hear me out, hear me out. Who's we? We Muslims. No, you Muslims. You Muslims. Well, the, the ones who have read no, the Bible. No, they don't, they don't. I don't mean every Muslim. Don't. You're right, yeah. you're right. I don't mean every Muslim. The ones who have actually read it, the Bible, have read about the Nicene Creed, where the uh, Trinity doctrine came into being, came into uh, establishment there. This is something that we, as Muslims, understand that it happened 300 years after Jesus. 
Can you imagine? They are still explaining who the God is 300 years after Jesus passed away. If Jesus was himself worshipping a God... Oh, no, the, book, the books would come about uh, just about 60 years after, which is a lot better than okay. this one, wouldn't it? Let no, me... No, no, let, let, years no, no, wait, wait, wait. First and foremost, when you say the books came 60 years after Jesus, Oh, some, some do the Christians have any manuscripts of those books? They no, do they don't. They do have manuscripts. I want to. I want hundreds of years. I, I want to put this in context. Look. And it's the same one. Um, my friend. My friend. My friend. I want to. It was there about before. Okay. I want to put it in context. My name is Mansur. What is your name? Oh, Steve. 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 There are today, among this scholastic community, known forty-nine gospels. Christian Gospels, 49 of them. Gospel of Judas. Gospel of no, Mary. No, 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 one second, one second. Just one second. What, I'm, what I'm going to tell you, not what bear, bear with me. Gospel of the Infancy. Gospel of St. Thomas. Gospel of the Ebionites. Gospel of the Nazarenes. None of these Gospels are in the Bible. No, they wouldn't be. Wait, wait. Yeah, these books, know, these books, these Gospels were not written by Muslims. Because long before Islam came in the scene, through the last messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, people were already forging in the name of God, saying this is a book of God, scripture, holy scripture. One second, one second. What I am establishing is this: within the Christian period, first three to four hundred years, people who went to call by themselves Christians, followers of Christ, they were forging, they were inventing books and saying this is from God. Scripture, gospel from God. You know these are forgeries. These are not from God. The gospel of infancy, gospel of the Ebionites, the Nazarenes, St. Thomas, gospel of Judas. You will say these are all false ascription. They are forgeries in the name of God. They are not from God. They are written by people wrongly associating and ascribing them to God. So what I'm establishing in history, what has happened in Christianity, people were writing left right and center books and claiming it's from god likewise i would like you to think and consider and reflect the four gospels that were written four wait wait the four gospels you can ask question i want to set the scene welcome salam the four gospels that were written out of all of these gospels what gives you the confidence and the competence to understand that they were indeed from god when they could be also forgeries in the name of God, and we. Let's answer this first, and then we go to the. We'll go to that. So uh, let me give you an example. In the New Testament, Gospel of Matthew. If I were to start from the very first page, there is an error already. This error is a deception. Deception by manipulating history, distorting history. I'll give you three examples. The first example is in the first page of the New Testament of the Gospel of Matthew. Matthew says. These are all the generations, 14 from Abraham to David, from David to the exile to Babylon, from there to Jesus Christ. 14, 14 and 14, 42 generations in all. Guess what? Matthew was lying. He was making a statement which is untrue, unfactual. If you go and read these people in the Old Testament, in the book of Chronicles, you will see there were more than 14 generations in each. So what happened? Matthew is distorting history to write a gospel. You might ask, maybe he's doing something for a motive. We know his motive. The people he removed from that list of genealogy, one of them is Jehoiakim. In verse 10 and 11, Josiah begat Jehoiakim. And Jehoiakim, he doesn't say Jehoiakim, he says Jeconiah. And Jeconiah begat and so on, right? Verse 10 and 11. Guess what the mistake he's making that he thinks that the world would not discover and find out. He omits Jehoiakim. Josiah, Jehoiakim and Jeconiah. These are the generations. Yeah? Jehoiakim is the son of Josiah. Jehoiakim has children called Jeconiah. He omits Jehoiakim. Why? Do you know why he omits? The Bible tells you. God says, Jehoiakim, you and your descendants are all cursed. None of you will have the right to sit upon the throne of David. What does Matthew wants to do? He wants to make Jesus to sit on the throne of David. If he has Jehoiakim in the genealogy, can Jesus 
through Jehoiakim, sit on the throne of David. He cannot. So he takes Jehoiakim away. Only to be discovered. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. It's called whitewashing. Only, only. No. My friend, Steve. Steve. One, one, Steve, I didn't dig this up. It was the Jewish people themselves. The Jews. To show it. Look how the deceptive writers of the New Testament are distorting our history for a miserable gain. How come you so, don't put this to other uh, Christian apologists? Sorry? How come you don't put this How do you know we don't? Which Christian apologist on the park that I haven't debated? No, name no, me one. No, that's why I asked him. How, do you, how does he know we don't? No, 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 no. Name me one Christian apologist that's come here well, and we haven't we have debated it. them. We, we have debated and debunked them all. That's the statement I can make today and I can make always. But so, so that was yeah. number one, deliberate mistake, not mistake, error and deception. Then he goes on, next page. Jesus, call B. He shall be called the Nazarene. His name will be Nazarene. He should be called the Nazarene, as was spoken by the prophets. So he gives you a prophecy, false prophecy. You can go and find the Old Testament, read cover to cover. For the last 2,000 years, and you will not find a single prophecy in which Jesus will be called a Nazarene. You go and read the writings of Christian scholars from all the major universities. Some of them will admit Matthew made a mistake there because they are honest enough to admit it. So here, Matthew is inventing prophecies, a lying prophecy. Do you agree right? that if there are contradictions in a book which claims to be from God, that book cannot be from God. Do you agree with that, with that principle? Please, please, please wait. As far as I'm concerned, it's right. With, with, um, By the with way, the that's Quran. a gift for you. It's a yeah. copy of the Quran. Oh, thank you. Right, Steve? But as far you as can it, read that. But, but as far as um, the writings of the Quran, yeah. Yeah. it was all written in script, wouldn't it? Without any dots. No. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Well, it does matter because... For well, the people I, who can read without, without the dots and, yes, but once and the, the consonants, in, once they, the dot, they have no issues. Hold on. Once the dots go in there, yeah. all right, and they're put in different places, they mean different no. things. No. Other, let me, let no, me, let me contextualize how this happened, I, I, right? So we have manuscripts by the tons, which doesn't have this kind of dotings. Yeah, very, no, wait, wait, please, exactly please, please, right? please listen, He's please listen. you why it doesn't make a difference. Please, there are spar, spar, sparse dottings here and there. So when we look at these manuscripts, the scholars who can read it can read it. Some people can read, some people cannot. But what happened? These manuscripts were not just sent there in isolation. Oh, read. The Islamic principle of teaching the Quran is you teach the Quran by reading and reciting and let them learn from you. Writing is just an aid. Yeah, but when you're what, reading... Wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, Can I finish no, first? No, no, Can you no, understand? Okay, let's, you let's, you let's, do a lot of talking, all right? Go on, go on. I'm say, explaining say, to you. No, say no, your you piece, lot, You do a lot of say talking. Your piece. You do a lot of talking, all right? Actually, you're pretty good at this. But you see, the thing is, why do the dots get put in different places and they get corrected and put in different places? He was going to tell you the okay. answer, but he didn't no, want no, to wait. No, 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 but he, 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 he likes spouting on an awful lot about other things. Yeah, you, you need detail in right. order to understand. Where did you get that from, that no, the dots were put no, in different no, places? Seeing see, see uh, text on, on um, <laughs> text of script. That, uh -huh. has been, that has been altered and uh, scrubbed out. Ah, uh, altered by who? When? By, by, I suppose, previous imams and stuff like that. Or, uh, so basically, you have been misled again. Well, not this time, no, no, this Sorry. time, this time, this time, not about your religion, on someone else's religion. We have manuscripts from the first hundred years of Islam. Yeah? Which am bits, bits and pieces. No, bits and no, no, pieces. no, no, no. I, I was no, about no, to no. say to you, which amounts to more than 99% of the text of the Quran, whole Quran, from the first, from the first 100 years of Islam. Compare this to Christianity. From the first 100 of years of Christianity, how much of the Bible you have? Zero percent, zero percent, zero percent, zilch, nothing. For the first 100 years of Islam, almost 100% because we are still counting. We are more, more, more discovering manuscripts being edited, meaning what? Discovered, published and so on. So almost whole of the Quran from the first 100 years of Islam. What you don't understand and I'm not being told is this, these manuscripts, some of them are dotted, some of them are sparsely dotted and so on. And these are all reflective of, of our reading traditions coming back to the Prophet So we have the Quran recited by the Prophet in various ahruf called, if I want to say ahruf, it's like a mode. 
because there is a community of Arabs with all the linguistic nuances. It's not the same. At that time, there was no Arabic grammar book. In fact, Quran was the first book in Arabic language. Think about that. Mansoor, the just, first. Just to add, you know, it's not just the manuscripts. For us, the primary mode of propagating the Quran is oral. Yeah, I will, so even, I will explain that yeah, to you in a bit. You, that most of the people, I suppose, would learn oral uh, Quran. From it's teacher now, to teacher. It, but it's not from the spoken to spoken. It is. It is. No, that is the way. No, people now would look at the Quran and recite it <laughs> no, no. the Quran. Let me, let me tell you're, you. You're if talking you, about people. The, you know, there are people in Africa who don't even have paper to write on. They learn it directly from the teachers. And this tradition has been alive since 1400 years. You see, we, we have actually a chain of transmission of the Quran from the from the teacher to the student. No I'm other wait, wait, people learn it. No, no, wait, wait. You need to you need to understand this. No, 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 no. You need to understand the Quran, this. the Quran, look, the Quran. For example, if you learn from someone the Quran and you want to teach as a certified teacher, you can only do so by reciting the whole Quran back to the teacher. And if the teacher finds no mistake and finds you competent, will give you what we call ijazah, a certificate, a permission to teach. And you will find in all the universities, seminaries, madrasas, maktabs, schools, teaching the Quran, this is the methods in which you learn from your teacher. You can learn from any teacher, but to get a permission, the ijazah, a certificate from you as a teacher, I have to demonstrate that I have learned exactly the way you taught me. Not from a book, but from you. So once you're, once you're satisfied with my teaching, then you say, I give you the permission to go and teach and put, add my name onto it. That you learn from me, that I learned from my teacher, and all the way back to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Exactly. I invite you. I, 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 look, look. How, no, I how I beautiful it is. We invite you for a practical no, demonstration. I can imagine somebody looking it through there yeah. and reciting Yeah, because you don't have the tradition, so I don't, I don't no. actually I, blame you. I invite you. you. I invite you. Next door to me. Yes. Next door to me is a maktab, a Quranic school, in which they memorize the Quran after schools. They go to secular schools. They come here on the weekend. Let me tell you what. People are memorizing the whole Quran from it. And then, and then, they are able to tell you the Quran from their heart from beginning to end anyway. In fact, I demonstrated in this very park from a brother of mine who, if you were to just say, can I borrow this? Okay. This is the Quran. The first word in this page is this. What is the word here and there and there? He will tell you exactly. This is the level of photographic memory some people have. And it's not unique. Because I have someone in Speaker's Corner in London, in UK. You go across the Muslim globe and you will find people. They are called supercomputers. Children called supercomputers. They will tell you exactly. You, you, someone tells you where it is. It will tell you it's in this page, page number, location, and so on and so forth. That is the level of memorization of our children. And the whole and Quran. You know, you know what's the beauty? Many of those people are not even Arabs. <laughs> they don't even speak Arabic. Because Allah, one brother, brother, is it the miracle one, one of the divine hallmark of the Quran, Allah says, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِن مُدَّكِرِ God says, we have made the Quran easy for remembrance, for remember, for reminding, and so on. Who will then take heed? So Quran has its internal mechanism for people to memorize the whole book. Because that's one of the ways of preserving the book. Because there will be no other prophet after. There will be, la nabiyya ba'di, Rasulullah says, our prophet says, there will be no prophet after. There will be no scripture afterwards. So the Quran itself has to remain pristine, pure, Clear, unadulterated, uncorrupted, and that's, and that's like how the guarantee of that's preservation. how it is. Allah says, God says, We have revealed the Quran and we are going to protect so what, it. What Chapter 15, about Hattin Tash when she came around with Sorry? all those. What would you say about Hattin Oh, she got Tash? destroyed. This, this, no, this, no, the books, the, the this particular individual that you're talking about. Yeah. I debated her and debunked her on the Sorry, ladder just I'm, there, years back. Like you can go and watch the full debate in the internet if you want to in YouTube. Yeah. 
You are all your people that comes and criticize and started making criticism of Islam. It doesn't hold. You know, if somebody, Islam, if somebody Islam, know. Islam yeah. is such a level of truth. It holds to and transcends any kind of scrutiny. And it stands clear that it is from God. Absolutely. It stands clear. That is why we are able to hear debate and discuss with atheists, agnostics, evolutionists, Hindus, Buddhists, Christians, you name it. And we will establish that Islam is the truth. And we've been doing this. Watch our channels in the YouTubes. Dawa Wise no, and other channels. Them, no, no. Watch I don't and don't see the demonstrations. When have you seen a Muslim who knows about Islam has failed to demonstrate Islam's truth? When? <laughs> never. Oh, no, never. No, I've, I've heard things and I've sort of, from what I've heard, many things. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to come up with the locals, the load, the load of stuff that people have said. I don't want to go down that same old road. Not talk Would you want to become a Muslim? No. I to worship no, the no, God of Jesus Christ? I because if I put... Do you want no, to go to heaven? No, no if, I put, if I was to put Jesus, yeah. all right, as a character, which you have Jesus as a similar character, a person who creates, a person who loves and everything else. By the, by the will of God. Him, and you put him alongside Muhammad, an God. example that he is, all right, then I, I can't see how, if they were to try to be What true, example are you no, talking no, about? No, no, if they wanted, no, the, the thing is, uh, if they wanted just two, if they were to become two friends, just say, yeah. at a time, they would have nothing in similar to Actually, they are called brothers. They would, they, yeah, but they would have nothing in similar in their characters together. No, really? But, but you no, see, every person is unique, so there's nothing new no, you're no, saying. No, no, the, the every person is unique. No, no, let's let's, your own let's, 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 under, let's understand something. About their very first commandment of God, what did they say about God and who should we worship? Exactly. Yeah. No, talk about the character. Oh, hang on, hang on. First thing is, first thing is, salvation only comes in worshipping God alone. If you worship anyone else, that's, you will have no salvation. Those, those are the words that both of them have come out with. I'm not talking about that right, similarity. I'm right. talking about similarity of how he got married. Jesus uh, never got married. No, why? he never got married. So why are you comparing the marriage of someone no, 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 who no. never got married? No. That's, that's apples and oranges. Okay, all right. <laughs> come on. Mohammed, what did he marry, who did he marry just after a battle? Okay. Muhammad married, okay. and those those were his wives. Okay. Who did he marry? Okay, let, let's answer him. Those yeah, are his okay. wives. Okay. What are you on so, about? So, when he was the age of 25, he had a marriage proposal. He married someone who's more than 15 years, about 15 years older than him. And he, the wealthy she, woman. Listen, who proposed? <laughs> the wealthy woman proposed. Yes. Do you know why? Because of his character. Because he was truthful. He was reliable. He was honest. I'm talking wait, wait, about wait, 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 excuse me, wait, excuse me, excuse me, let's talk about his, let's talk about his marriage. So as he married her, until she passed away, did he marry anyone else? I'm not talking about that, I'm talking oh, about Hang on, after, hang on, after, let's understand that, let's understand battle, something, okay? let's understand something. Why was he? It could have been because she was so wealthy and he didn't want to turn her back on her, I don't know. Well, so he married still, someone. He married someone just after a battle, didn't he? Do you know how many people he married? He married one particular woman just no, after no, 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 a no. battle. No, 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 no. He married many women. He many. Married one after. A no, battle. he married many women. Do you he know married. why? Do you know how he married? Why he he why married. Not, why I'm not. telling you, he married to unite the communities. So he married the Jew. And when he married a Jew, a Jewish woman, do you know, me. excuse me, no, do you know what happened? You're asking your own questions. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. No, I'm asking which you which battle? I'm asking, there which was, battle? There was a battle where... Which the, battle? Name the battle. I can't remember which battle. Then you I can't would, answer no, your question. Going, you would know. And I wouldn't no, know. You would know. Unless, no, I wouldn't know. You, you, you name the battle? That, either that you're, you don't know your history. Look. There, there was one battle. He, let me explain. Mm. There was one battle he won. All right. Next day, he got married to the person. It can't be many battles. He got married directly day after. And what's wrong with that? Well, I would call it rape. Okay. Um, no, 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 shake my hand and go away. Okay, then go away. No, no. no, no. What I'm is rape? Hang on. No, I'm wait, 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 no, wait, no, wait, 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 no, wait. No, what is rape? Don't take me. What is rape? Don't try and take me. What is rape? Because what is rape? Rape is doing against something against somebody else's will. Right. The woman that she. He, she lost her wait, husband. Wait, wait. Excuse me. Now, children. now you said something grievous. The woman he married. Did the woman consent to this marriage? I would think not. Where are you getting your information from? 
Look, if you are what if Where are you getting your information no, from? You, Islamophobes. Now, 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 you, now you're using a Can name. you have a marriage now when the woman doesn't consent? You're a Lamisphobe. Oh, I never said I was a Lamisphobe. You, you're calling me an Islamophobe. No, I said you are getting your information from Islamophobes. No, okay. All right, fair enough. I didn't say you were an Islamophobe. No, well, I, no I'm getting my information, all right? From who? You can, no, you can tell, you, you can tell me whether it's true. You can try and bunk it or whatever. I just told you it's untrue. No, no, hold on. Untrue. If, if you're a Andrew. Are you married? Yes. All right. Now, if you got murdered tonight, and the other person come up to you and say, I want to marry your wife. Mm. Do you think she'll be particularly happy about the fact that you got murdered and I'm somebody else married your yeah. wife? Let me answer the question for you. And she's going to say, yes, Let me okay. answer the question for you. Back in the times, the times is not the same as today, the way you are thinking. Back in the times, the woman, the woman during a war, do you know what they would do? They would put on their best clothes and their best garments, the best of the best, the jewelers and so on, because they know the reality that their husbands might get killed in the war. And then what she's offering? She's offering to be married to someone else. This is the reality of the times. At the, excuse me, don't just... No, no, don't, don't just rubbish away the history that is there. If you don't know history, I urge you to go and learn history. Historical reality is that even the Arab times when they had wars like this, these women will beautify themselves of their best to go there because they would want, then want to be what? Once the husbands and sons are killed in the, mar in, in the battle, they want to be married to someone else. Maybe the ones who are the victors, the ones who won. Does that make sense to you? It's not about making sense. Does it make sense to you? It's not about making sense. Does it make sense to any of you? One second, one second, one, one, one second. Does it make any sense to Let me answer, you? let me answer, listen. Does it make brother, sense? brothers, let me answer. Oh God. Does Excuse me, brothers, let me answer. The Hindus and the Aztecs. No, we don't talk about Hindus. I'm so giving we're talking, you. We're talking about what uh, happened uh, uh, in the battle. Excuse me. I'm giving you history lesson. In Hindu history, history of the Hindu civilization, right? The woman whose husband died, she would jump on the fire alive. Wait, wait. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. She would jump on the fire whether she likes it or not. Yes. Does it make sense that she should jump on the fire? No. No, it doesn't. But does it change the history? No, it doesn't. The historical reality is they jumped on the fire. Swati Daho. They jumped on the fire. History. Your like and your dislike doesn't change what happened in history. Wait, I've not finished yet. Your like and your dislike does not change the course of history. History is what happened. You have to accept that this is what happened, whether you like it or not. Wait, 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 not finished yet. The Aztecs, the Aztecs would sacrifice their own. Excuse me. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish, Steve? Steve, the point is about how you disregard and delete history, historical record, based on your likes and dislikes. I am saying, whatever happened, the crusaders killed innocent people. We have to accept that. You can't just say, I don't like that to be, but this is a reality. Likewise, the so Aztecs... What's, it, what's that wait, got to do with the crusaders? The history, inspired by the Bible. history, history. No, hold on. Spanish Inquisition. No, no, Steve, hey, Steve, on. let me finish my point. This, this is, this is this is complete hey, Steve, let me finish my point. Oh. Let me, rubbish. let me finish my point. I'm, I'm, telling, I'm telling okay. you, Many Christians today don't like what happened, what the Crusaders did. Their liking and their disliking does not change the course of history. Number one, the Aztecs, they would sacrifice, do a human sacrifice to please the gods. God, send us rain. We will sacrifice our life. They did that. You might not like it. But this is what happened. History tells us this is the reality that happened, took place. Likewise, when the Arabs were in conflict and war, their women, they were dressed up in their garments, their best, so that they, they can have marriage to but someone I else after. Wait, 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 can I finish my statement? You may not like it, but this was the reality. So yes. They did not mind that their husband that got killed right now no, and they're offering the and they're offering themselves to someone else in marriage. 
In the Bible, in the Bible. Do you know in the Bible? Your own Bible says it. In the Bible, which you don't read. In the Bible's number 31. Shall we just read it to you what it says? Yes, let's read it. Numbers 31, what does it say? Metaphorically. No, no, they are not Qadianis. They're, they're, they're not Qadianis. Okay. The Qadianis are the ones who are waffless and met, met, do all the no, metaphorical metaphor. spin. There's a group of uh, non-Muslims. They want to label themselves as Muslims, but they believe in a different prophet. And whenever you discuss with them, they start a waffle oh, sorry, and say everything wrong. metaphorical. Parable. Uh, parable. I mean okay. parables. Parables. No, no, even it's yeah, parables. they call themselves Ahmadis. Yeah. yeah, they're not Muslims. So. In Numbers 31, so when you go to a city and you conquer them, what do you do with the captives? You kill the male, the adults, right? And the women. And the women. And, and the children. And the children, Babies. okay. And, and, and you spare the girls. The virgins. The virgins. The virgins. And you take them themselves. For, the for yours. Soldiers. For yours. For your own, truly. Oh. To do what? That's what they did. So they, it was not a problem for them because this is exactly as you said, this is history. So we are saying you cannot bring in the character of Muhammad Islam and his marriage to compare when his marriage was for mostly political conveniences, bringing communities together to destroy a false belief system about like you can't marry your adopted son's wife and so on and so forth to destroy these kind of things, right? So. Sorry. If you think about it, most of his wives, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's wives, they were widows with orphans. They're already married and their husbands died or killed, so he was looking after them. Some women came to offer them to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. At that time, there are people that are taking in women who are now don't have any husbands. Yes, you take some, you take, the Prophet took some as well. He didn't just say, no, 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 you go and, you know, my, my companions, you take all of them. No. This is showing compassion and mercy to women. And some of so them were people, than him. of course, and people misunderstand that why did he marry so so many? Because all of this, if you go one by one, you will see that these are for political conveniences. When he married the Jewish women, so let me read what happened? Months, what happened? The whole of the enmity between the Muslims and the Jewish tribe at that time. Now they're friends again. And also because she was from the, uh, she, she was a descendant of uh, Harun alayhi salam. So it was a privilege for her that she, was she would have from her own. Yes. So yeah, yeah, she would have considered yeah, yeah, yeah. to be an insult for her to marry yeah, someone absolutely. else rather than someone in a higher rank. But but brother, still, brother, still still she was work yeah. out how you brother. kill your whole the whole family and everything else. You get okay, let's see how let's see how the Bible supports the same thing. Numbers 31, 17 to 18. This is Moses' army sanctioned by God to kill. All of the all of the Midianites. You know who were the Midianites? So the wife of Moses was a Midianite. Arabs. God commanded him. Arabs. Yes, they were Arabs. Yeah. Arabs. And it says in Numbers 31, 17, now kill all the boys and kill everyone who has slept. Sorry, kill every woman who has slept with a man, Marry. but save for yourself every girl who has never slept with a man. Girl Notice girl. how the woman and the girl <laughs> are mentioned in there. So kill all the boys, kill all the women, kill all the men, yes, but save for yourself the girls who have not slept with anyone. That means the virgin girls <coughs> who actually were ch children, because that's the only way you can girls. identify who the virgins are, unless they had a, some detecting machine. Well, it says girls to detect. anyway. It yeah, says I know. Girls. I mentioned that already. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm, and it says, you know, the word he used there is tough, tough, which is like girls, you know, skipping rope. Five years, five year olds. So they were saved. Guess why they killed the little boys but saved the little girls? Because they didn't want the army to come back for them. Like no, no, but boys. why the little girls? Why they saved the little girls? Yeah. I don't know. Isn't that obvious? It's for it's, it's sex slaves. To enjoy this is mentioned in Deuteronomy. Them. If you read Deuteronomy 21. Sex it, slaves. Yes, sex slaves. So it says that you can take them for... Like no, it's, it's worse than that. It's worse than that. Slave. Sex, you know when you're, a, when you're a slave, yes, you have no option. In so, 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 and by the way, muta, muta is haram for the Muslims. It's not permitted. This is for the Shias. Shia, yeah. Okay, so you got... But it's never been abrogated, is it? Huh? It has. That's the reason it's, it's haram. It's, it's never been the prophet, No, it has. The Prophet ﷺ made it haram. On, in, it in, Khaybar, in Khaybar, in yes. Khaybar, listen. Oh, no, when no, they, they carry out can, you, can, you, can you wait? In Khaybar, the, the Battle of Khaybar, when they, when they opened the castle of Khaybar, 
that year the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam forbid two things eating the the the, the donkey's meat and the mut'a so and this is well established what, in the quran, in the quran? The we have we have two sources our 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 uh, legislation our rules come from two song? sources quran and the You're saying of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam unlike the christian they don't follow neither the okay. bible nor uh, as we was we were establishing the rules of war with the other Christian gentlemen, this is what it says in Deuteronomy: When you go out to battle against your enemies, and the Lord your God delivers them into your hands, and you take them away captive. You want to read? Sorry, what it says? Where? What does it say here? Uh, oh, 11 and, 11, yeah. and see among the captives a beautiful woman and have a desire for her and would take her as a wife for yourself. Then you shall bring her home to your house and she shall shave her head and trim her nails. Then you shall bring her home to your house and she shall shave her head and trim her nails. She shall also rem remove the clothes of her captivity and shall remain in your house and mourn her father and mother a full month. And after that, you may go into her and be her husband and she shall be your wife. Deuteronomy 21, 10 to 13. And, and by the way, you must have noticed the mention wife and husband. But then if you read further on, it tells you that this is something if you find her to be dishonorable. Attractive. Yes. You can then get rid of her. You can't sell her, but you can get rid of her. Now, why would a wife bring you dishonor? The only reason is because this captive of all, who they consider to be wife, and wife doesn't mean like the way you and I think of wife today. Okay, so they had like uh, uh, captives of war, concubines, who they can discard and they can take on anytime. And this is what I mentioned about the sex slaves earlier. This is what exactly it is. Okay. So they, they get chance to so shave their hair, change their clothes. Let's, let, let's leave that because family. this is enough yeah. for you to go and reflect. Yeah. What, what are your main obstacles to become a Muslim? There's <laughs> loads of them. What are the main obstacles? No, 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 no Steve, Steve. What are your main obstacles? Tell me. What is it that you find that... Well, first that, of all, the most one. The most one. The, no, the, no, most the, one, one. the one I still cannot get my head around. Which is? All right. Is the one I just mentioned already. Here, yeah, Isha, look at the look at the Bible that you believe in. It mentions in the Bible three. that you believe in. Yeah. This is what you do when God delivers your enemy to you, and you desire someone, you take on. So what was that? Yeah, they even got a month to read. Wait, wait, wait. When Muhammad done it? When, one it's second, one second, night. one second. How do you know it's the so, same night? Or just because it, it, it mentioned. Oh. It's You're mentioned say, in the Quran. No, it's not mentioned in yeah. the Quran. You're a liar. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, like Go away, you liar. Look, look. Let me let me explain one. Come here, come, 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 come. Let, let me explain, she, she, she Steve. I'll explain to you something. Let me let me explain to you something. Listen. Uh, you know you know she's lying, right? Come on. You, 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 you do know she's lying. You want Steve? 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 No, no. She's she's making. No, no. Steve. She's hit and run kind. You know. Okay. Steve. You know you know she's lying, right? Because there's nothing like this in the Quran. What do you mean? Oh no. I have I have look. I have listened to an awful lot of. Muslim apologies and Christian apologies and I've listened to a lot of what's been said. All right. I want to know your and, obstacle. And, and, no, the obstacle. So your obstacle no, is. Do no, no, you want to explain? Okay, let him explain no, to you. Let me explain to you. First of all, Islamically, yeah, Islamically, even a woman, if she gets divorced, this is a woman gets divorced. From the last. You know how how long she's. In, I mean, a woman that is divorced. Let me uh, allow me, please. Okay. Allow me. She you had to wait three yeah, minutes. Maghrib. Maghrib. You know why three minutes? Because so he might have been a child. She Def might carry a baby. child. Or she I said might a divorce. Be, or, or listen be. to what I'm saying. A divorcee, a woman divorcee, yeah? She has to wait three minutes for her to her decree becomes obsolete yeah. so that she can remarry. And do you know why? So that we make clear that there is nothing in the womb. She does not okay, because what three minutes. And what about the other ones? Uh, let me explain. The captive of the war, you have to allow them to have menses. The reason why? 
I'll tell you the reason why. Because if that woman is, ma is pregnant from someone else, meaning, and the person sleeps with her, you know what's going to happen? What's going to happen? The, the, that child would be his, okay? That means that she's a free woman first. Because once she gets a child, she's a free woman. That's one thing. Okay, 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 okay. Please, yeah. That's one thing. That's one thing. Second thing, that that child who is not his is to inherit. And he's not his. The other thing, if she get, if he has got children and like daughters, that person can be with them because it will be thought that it's his, that it's his brother, it's their brothers, and he is not. So whoever tells you this. Or I don't know where you get your ones? information. What about, what about the other ones? What which other, other ones? ones? Which other ones? I'm going to let you bring that okay, to me. Okay, okay. Tell ones. me which other ones. No, you tell me the other ones. <laughs> so I know. So I know what it is. You threw in a needle in the haystack and you're telling me about, get it. How about children? <laughs> what children? children? When they're younger. No, I, I'm not going to be able to answer you. Tell me. Tell, no, be straightforward. We, we have heard I've it all before. So you want to hide. You want surprises at all. I've got What makes you I'm trying to hide? Okay, Steve. I don't know. Steve, hit me with it. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. Say hit me I, with I it. wish I could hit you with it. Not, yeah. not but physically. I know, but I know, not literally. The, I know. With the, with the, with the, <laughs> Tell me. With the knowledge. The I, are you trying to mention Aisha, for example? Is hmm? that what you're trying to mention? No, Everybody other, comes other, and say Aisha radiallahu anha and the oh, Prophet no, 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 I, I, I should yeah. be for I mean, when No, no, if you want to mention it, no, mention no, it, no, no, no problem. I have no problem. I think it's. No, no, because if he wants to mention it. No, wait a minute. First, I want to say thank you for giving your time and, uh, and, and your you, patience yeah. because it's been a long time and I know we spoke a lot but I want you to digest this and if you got something else to say come back next week next we'll week. be here I might do but we'll be here but uh, thanks a lot for your time as usual don't always think people are being insincere no no no, no, no. To talk about because yeah. I, 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 I honestly okay. answer from yeah. what I do but Steve I'm if you knows. remember but when, you see the thing is yeah, yeah. what makes two people look there's two people right yeah now I'm not the cleverest person in the bunch I'm dyslexic and stuff like that I don't now he tells us because I don't tend to remember <laughs> it would have been easy with you no 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 I, yeah I believe you <laughs> what I'm saying is just because a person wins an argument yeah. doesn't mean they're right. Either way. We're not here to win I, I agree. No, 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 no. no. I agree with you. No, no. I agree Some with you. People, no. That's fine. Most people, yeah. Christians yeah. and things, yeah. they're there yeah. to win an argument. No, no. no. That's no. What the, that's Sometimes the, 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 the better orator wins. Yeah. 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 But it doesn't mean that they're right. That doesn't mean they're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an open statement. Absolutely. But you know, there are certain things which, when it comes to you, even with the truth, and still you would reject it, then that is nothing to do with the amount of knowledge you have or any of your uh, issues that you, you mentioned. When it comes to you that if a man never claimed to be God and he himself worshipped God, how could you then worship that man? From what I understand, he does say he's God. Not, not in those very words that I am God. Okay, let's say if you... No, because that's what you want. You want it, you want it. No, no, let's say, let's say, let's say... You want Jesus to say, look, I am God. No, no, but so even, not, even that... No, no, hold on. He's not. That's... Okay. I, believe just say, I believe it. We say. want to clarify something about this marriage you mentioned, which you didn't say. Look, firstly, there's two things. She was given an option, whether to marry the Prophet. No, he wasn't talking about which that one? one. I think he was which talking one? about... No, no, about one after the battle. This is about after oh, the battle. Safiya. 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 Yes, this is no, about no, the battle. Safiya, Safiya she, she, when they divided the, 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 yes. the Luti, she did not. She, she wasn't with the Prophet Look, The Messenger of Allah had chosen else. Safiya, daughter of Huayi, for himself and offered her a choice between having her freedom and marrying him or joining her family. She had chosen for him to free, to free her and to be his wife. No, but so, before then... Wait, before wait, wait, brother, wait, brother, wait, brother. Let him answer this. Yeah. This is a consent. You talked about rape. This is consent. She willingly chose to be the prophet. Secondly, when did the marriage get consummated? Why, why, why One second. Somebody, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Willing to be because of the, the character home. of the prophet. Simple she as that. Saw him in a what, dream. No, she, she saw she him in a dream. Yeah. Own family and everything else. <coughs> no. You know who are you to say? No. Who are you to say? If I, she agrees, I know, what, I know what human nature would be like. Steve, human nature Look, is not to worship a narrated man. Narrated Anas bin Malik, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam selected her for himself and set out with her. This is about who narrated and this hadith. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam selected her for himself and set out with her. And when he reached a place called Sad Asaba, Safiya became lawful because she was clean from her menses and the mission of Allah went to her in marriage. So of course, there was this finding out in terms of whether 
she is lawful to be a wife. Wife. So you have been misled by, as I said, these people are Islamophobe. You know, I'll do a search through that one. Please do. So this is a document I recommend you to go and read in two issues around the Prophet Muhammad's marriage with Safiya in icraa.org, right? You can take a picture. And you'll see. Brother Masur, there is another thing which he needs to understand. Yeah. First of all, her father, as I say, she is a descendant of Harun uh, uh, Salam. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's a descendant of Harun Salam. Yeah. Yeah. So these people, but they he want is, to, no, no, these people, no, what I'm trying to say, these people, they were like the, the priesthood, they had the priesthood so her father when she was little yeah. when the Pro no, no, when the prophet no, no, no. Yeah. Sallam, came to medina no, no, no. she heard her father and uncle speaking about him he said have you seen him is it him he said yes it is him but i swear by god that i will never follow him and that we shall be his enemies until death mm -hmm. so she heard that this is the prophet that they were waiting for because he's not from the house of David mm. so they would not follow him this is one then the second thing when she was married she saw a dream and the dream she saw the moon came and fell in her um, lap she told the dream to her mother then her mother slapped her she understood what's the dream the the, the moon, the full moon, was the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. She said yeah. to her, but as you realize, as you realize, what I'm is saying, the this okay. is a different angle so, of mistake. So, so if this is, is if this is yeah. stopping you from becoming a Muslim, yeah. looking at the character of Prophet Muhammad's marriage, no look, look, no, no, no. Islam is the only salvation acceptable see, in the eyes I, of God. I see, no, I no, see nothing Jesus, else. No, I see Jesus Christ, right, as being the perfect example of being a man, right. I can't recognise Muhammad being an alternative version of that. I cannot it's begin not an to alternative imagine. Version. Did, no, no, did no, Christ no, claim to be the final I messenger from God? No, I, I see, well, see, did he the, say he was Jesus, the final? Right, with your Jesus. No, no. Did Christ, Steve, did Christ say, I am the final messenger from God? No. No. Right. Did he not say, when I go, I will send him? If I don't go, he will not come. But when I go, I will send him, he will guide you unto all the truth. So the there Holy is no, wait whoever that is because well, this is where the Bi this is this is where the this is where the Bible is trying to spin on a messenger. No, the Holy was no, no, no please, else. please. Oh. This is where the this biblical writers right. are spinning yeah, sorry, sorry. on someone to come like Jesus. Yeah, yeah. He says, right. he says, he says, I have I many things to tell you, but you're not ready. So when he comes, you're going to unto all the truth. So from this, you know there is someone else to come after Christ. So. It's not that you're saying, oh, I have Christ and that's it. No, Christ, his mission is not complete by his own words. He says, I have many things to tell you. You can't bear them now because the truth, complete guidance, they weren't ready for it. But he's leaving it to someone else who will show you the complete guidance. The church historically considers this to be from the writings of John and so on to be the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit... If you look at even the understanding of what that is, conditionally, the, the Holy Spirit was already there, present, coming in the yeah. form of a dove and so on and so forth. Yeah. So Jesus was saying, if I don't go, he will not come. But that was already here, so he cannot be the Holy Spirit. There were many Christian scholars. They did not believe the Holy Spirit was the paraclete, the comforter that Jesus was referring to, yeah. even the 18th and 19th centuries. Christian scholars, because they knew that this refers to someone like Christ, who will bring complete guidance. So if you are open to that, there's a possibility that there will be someone, because you know what? There were Jewish people waiting in Medina. Paul, when he became a Christian, what did he do? Did he go to Jerusalem immediately? He didn't. That was three years after, but he went to Arabia. Why? Because he knew there was a prophet that is going to come from there. So their understanding is there. There will be a prophet to come. There will be someone who will come and we guide to the whole kind, bring the kingdom of God. That was why Jesus' main mission, his, his good news, the gospel, meaning the good news, was to establish the kingdom of God on earth by who? The one who will bring all of the guidance from God. And this is why we say as Muslims, with the final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he's brought the sharia, the justice, the, the law, to be the guidance for all time, for all places, for all places, 
for everyone. That's the complete guidance. So if you're open to that possibility, However, you will see. That music it's okay. That's the deliberately. They're de deliberately doing that. They're deliberately doing that. Anyway, so it's been um, pleasure speaking to you, Steve. What, what is this going to be on? So I can look at the questions again. This will be on Dawa Wise. Yeah, Dawa Wise. If you see that logo there. By the way, thank you once again. You know. Before you go, you, you, you said something quite interesting. You said Jesus is one of the best role models. Yeah. And we don't disagree with that. You know? I know you don't. At the time of Jesus, he was indeed the best role model. Because even Muhammad didn't actually But listen, the best role model for human beings, he worshipped a God. Do you agree with that? The best example of human beings. For you, is Jesus. He himself worshipped God. Do you agree with that? Yes, we did. Yes. Did he worship no, a trinity? Did he worship a triune God, or or a universal God? Universal God. He, he worshipped the other two aspects of God. No, no, you worshipped only the Father. He only worshipped the Father. And he Throughout told the others. He told others. Yeah, well, he worship only the oh, Father. Oh yeah, because because the the the, 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 um, the Holy Spirit is worships God as well. No, no, I'm asking Jesus, who is your perfect human role. Yeah. Check, check. I'm sorry. He's a perfect human role model. He himself worshipped God as only a universal God, not a trinity, a triune God. He told others to worship only a universal God. That's why when Mansur mentioned the Lost Prayer, you know the Lost Prayer? How does it start? Our Father. Our Father in Heaven. Not yeah. our Father, Son and Holy Spirit in Heaven, right? No. So he told others, specifically they asked him the question, yes? Rabbi, how do we pray? And he told them the Lost Prayer. Our yeah. Father in Heaven, Yes, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, not the truth. Whose will be done? His will. Whose will? God's. No. The will of the oh. Father. Will of the Father, yeah. Yes. Right. So the one the Bible, whose will will be done, it's not Jesus. No, no, the, the point is because you, when you're claiming someone to be a perfect role model, and you do not follow that perfect role model, but you follow the church, then there is something deliberately mm. you're okay. doing which is wrong. Just uh, no, 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 no. State that bit again. Okay. If... For example, your father was your perfect role model. And yes. you declare to everyone, my father it's is perfect my perfect role model. But then you go and follow your uncle, your enemy, for example. Not uncle, let's say your enemy. Complete opposite to whom you consider to be your role model. Yeah, but now, hold on, hold on a minute. Steve, let me finish. You said to repeat, yes. I'm repeating that with an analogy. So what you're doing here is you're rejecting Jesus' practice directly, even though you claim by your tongue that you follow Jesus, but in practice you do the opposite. See what I mean? Why am I doing the opposite? Because Jesus told you to worship only the Father. What do you do? Yeah. Whom do you worship? Yeah, but Jesus is the example. Exactly. Why don't you follow that example? What, Jesus? Example? Yes. It, the example of following and worshipping only the Father. One person, not three persons. I'm going to my God and your God. Yes. And my Jesus father, and all the... Look, look. Wouldn't I to that throughout one? the Bible, trust me, trust Steve, if you look throughout the Bible, either the Old Testament or the New Testament, no one ever worshipped a triune God. This only came about in the 4th century, 300 years after Jesus Christ. Now you tell me, are you following Jesus and the Bible or are you following the church? The decree of noise here. Who are you following? See, what, what, I, what I see, all right, mm. is it's all explained from the Bible and how Jesus... But it's not explained exists. from the Bible because no one in the Bible ever worshipped a triune God. Well, who's walking in the Garden of Eden? Who? Who? Yeah, okay. Let us ask you... Adam, Adam and Eve. Okay. Who? No, but, but wait, wait. Very wait. interesting question. <laughs> so you're saying... Who did Adam and Eve see? Who's walking through Even if the Jesus Bible? was walking there, which you're trying to imply, no one worshipped Jesus in the Garden of Eden. So no, you're again wrong. So who is? So was it an angel in the garden okay. of Eden? Even look, the, even the if answer, Jesus, the answer, Steve, the answer, matter. the answer. They didn't worship Adam him. and Eve did not see Trinity in Eden. They did not know of a Trinity in Eden. They did not. No, no, no. They did not know of God being a Son or a Father and the Holy Spirit in Eden. So what's they did not. Because when you say who was walking in the garden. In the garden, the language that is used, walking, doesn't mean physically walking in the garden, right? They have given you an anthropomorphic description of who God is. God is not like a human being, but Christians are told to believe God is like a human being sitting on a throne. No, but even God if, is not even like if that. you believe that Jesus was walking, that would still go against because the re uh, sorry the incarnation did not happen. So you, as a Christian, should only believe that the human nature did not exist during the time of Genesis. Mm. You see what I mean? So you cannot say that is Jesus walking. 
it's, it's like Mansur said, it could be metaphorically that God was actually keeping an eye on them. Mm -hmm. Yes, it could mean that. So you, my friend Steve, are not following the Bible at all, it looks like you're following the church. When you keep worshipping a man as God, that is not the teaching of the Bible, that is the teaching of the church. Secondly, can you be saved without the crucifixion of Jesus? No. That means the only way you can be saved is by human sacrifice. Am I right? Can, um, it can't be God's sacrifice. Well, let, let it can only thinking. be human sacrifice. Let, 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 go on, One good thing, about it. Yeah. <coughs> I'm thinking, all right? Because you've had longer to think about this. No, no, that's fine. That's, fine. Oh, that's, that's okay. a good sign, actually. And I'm trying to work out. Human sacrifice or God's sacrifice? Every, every, everything was leading through for, um, that animal sacrifice was never going to be the one that's going to get us through to, to heaven. So, are you saying human sacrifice then? God. No, because that's. I, no, it's, it's, how do you put it? Because I'm not too sure how to put this. Um, it's, it's very simple, my friend. That ain't very simple. Human sacrifice is something which is the hallmark of the pagans and satanic cults. Yeah, no, it, it's nothing it, to do with it's, God no, and divine. I think it's, I think it's what it is. The words you're using are not the right words. What words do you think you should It doesn't matter how you, how you actually analyze this. Human sacrifice is wrong from all angles. Whether, yeah, no, look, even that's, if why Jesus, think, that's why that's why I believe in it. It's not correct what the words you're using, and I what, don't know sacrifice. the words. Well, who died on the cross, man or God? Well, Jesus died on the thing. Was he man or God? It was. It was God. It was. It was God. So well, God, God can't died. die. That I'm is not, even. I'm that's not, even I'm worse than the pagans. You and me believe, yeah. all right? I believe when, God doesn't no, die. No, no, no. I don't know when about I, you. When I kill you, all right? If I, no, we're not kidding. If I was to kill you, all right? Yeah. Is there some part of you that's still alive? Well, my soul, yeah. But what does killing mean? Hold on. So, so your body's dead, but you're not really dead, are you? I am dead. No, because your soul is still okay. alive. Let, let's define death. No, no, let's define no, death. No. There's bodily death. Yeah. All what, right. what is that? How do you define? I'll tell you how we define death. We death is separation of the soul from the body. That's death. Did Jesus experience that? Yes. Yeah, so he's, so he's not dead. He's only no, no, dead no, no, no. That is what we define as death. The next Separation question. of the soul from the body. So what, when you say the body died and the soul did not, in fact, you're reconfirming, you're reaffirming that Jesus died. See what I mean? Now, let me ask you this question. Did Jesus experience his soul coming out of his body according to your belief? By the way, the Muslims don't believe Jesus died. So just... Uh, for the audience, Clarity. you, my friend, you believe crucifixion happened and without the yes. crucifixion, without this human sacrifice of Jesus yes. Christ, you cannot be saved. You see, as Muslims, we, we don't have that and pray problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just, just one minute can't. and we'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll finish. Yeah, everybody's good. Yeah. So okay. what I'm saying, my friend, let's, here let's is that rub this, this, up now, please. this death which you're talking about is something which only mortals experience. God Almighty is mortal or immortal? Death is only what... No, no. Immortal. The definition of immortal is someone who is not subject to that. Now, according to you, Almighty God, is he immortal or is he subject to that, like mortals? He's immortal. You, you know, I've had so much tonight, I, I can't... No okay, let's, okay. Leave, okay. let's leave it there. Okay. Let's leave it there. Okay. Let's leave it there. Guys, it's, uh, uh, it's a pleasure speaking so to you. So it's immortal. The answer is so immortal. You're um, do, God do, is immortal. <laughs> do reflect and, um, you know... Oh, starts going, no, no, no. Do reflect and say, look, all we're trying to do is to make sure that you save your own self by your own choice yeah. from the fire of hell. We want and you to be with us in paradise, inshallah. Yes, inshallah. So inshallah. if this comes on, yes. what's that group called? It's called Dawah Dawah Wise. Dawah Wise. Oh, Dawah Wise. Dawah Wise. Yeah. You can, okay. I can write it down if you want. Or right. you can take a picture no, if you got a phone. That's right. All right, Steve, All right. You take thank you. Thank you. Take care. Take care. All right. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa akhidda wa alhamdulillahi wa alameen. Okay.